long time ago, when man took its first steps into space, they took a single animal with them to guide them through the light. Worms. 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 Space worms. That's what we're doing. Right, so first of all, the audio in here is probably going to be terrible because it's a big room and it's very echoey. Second of all, I don't know why I'm doing this in like the camera and stuff. It's just, it just seemed like the right thing to do when talking about space worms. That's what this video is going to be about, worms that have been to space. Right, what have we got here? Uh, okay, so in December 2018, thousands of nematode worms were due to be launched up into space on a Falcon 9 SpaceX rocket to be studied on the International Space Station. However, there was some mouldy food uh, in the stuff also to be sent up into space, like, you know, food and clothes and stuff that the space station needs, along with worms, apparently. Um, so they had to cancel the launch and then launch it a day later. This raised problems because worms don't live very long. And the idea was that if the worms were left another day, they might be too old and not be able to go to space. But they had backup worms. I don't know which worms they used, whether they used the original worms or the backup worms. I couldn't find out. But when they did launch, they did send up worms called C. elegans. The C stands for something, but I, I really don't know what that is. Um, I, I, I can't pronounce it at all, so I'm just going to say C. The research that would be done on these worms that are being sent to the ISS would hopefully help scientists understand more about human aging, as the worms that were sent up share many biological characteristics with humans. The research would focus on muscle loss, which means the results of this research could help improve treatments for stuff like diabetes. So the worms were sent up and then they came back down on the 13th of January um, to be studied at the University of Nottingham. What the results of this study were, I have no idea. I can't find it anywhere. If anyone can find it, put it in the comments, I'll pin it. But this wasn't the first time that this had happened. In 2004, C. elegans was sent up and brought back down and studied. And this time I managed to find the results. Um, research found that seven genes were less active while in space. And it turns out the worms were better off without them. So scientists turned these genes off at Earth as well to see what would happen on the planet. And it turns out the worms lived happier, healthier and longer lives. Maybe not happier, they are worms. A researcher said that muscle tends to shrink in space. The results from this study suggest that muscles are actually adapting rather than reacting involuntarily to space conditions. So the idea is that muscles may actually age better in space than they do on Earth. Also, the astronaut that went up with the worms um, had a bit of his leg removed, a bit, bit of muscle tissue in his leg taken out, so that could be studied um, in relation to his leg that came back, which is really weird, I don't know what the results of that were. But even that wasn't the first time that, that had happened, because in 2003, one year earlier from 2004, obviously, the uh, space shuttle Columbia took up a bunch of animals, including silkworms and C. elegans nematodes. Unfortunately, this was the um, time of the Columbia disaster. But after Columbia crashed, interestingly, the nematodes were found still alive at the crash site. I do think that was the first time that I could find, at least, of C. elegans in space. But yeah, the space worms, C. elegans. Picture now. That's what they look like. Worms that have been to space. But they weren't the first worms that went to space. In 1968, worms were sent up by the Soviet Union in the first time that animals were sent to deep space. It wasn't just worms though, I think there were two tortoises and flies. All the animals thankfully survived the trip around the moon with some weight loss recorded. Also in 2010, Iran launched animals into space for the first time, including worms. They came back alive. That's all I know about that one. I couldn't find anything else. So yeah. More worms have been into space than humans. Interesting, but of course, to be fair, they are slightly smaller and they don't really need to pilot the rocket at all. Um, thank you for watching this very different video on Worm Week. Um, hope you found it interesting. If you didn't like this style at all, leave a comment below and tell me this, but you know, nicely, please. If you did, also say in the comments, it's always nice to hear feedback and enjoy tomorrow's video.